Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And today I've got a crazy rare custom shop vendor to share with you guys. Thanks for everyone that's been sticking around. We've blown past 2,000 subscribers, just about 600,000 views on the channel, which is nuts. And if you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, because you get to hang out with your new friend Keith and the circle of friends that we've created here. Got a little community going. And we get to drool over cool, crazy, rare guitars each and every day that I get from all over the world and share up close and in person with you as if you were holding them in your very own hands at your local guitar shop. Doesn't get better than that, does it, guys? Cool. So without further ado, let's talk about what we're dealing with here. Uh, awesome color. This is a 1965 Custom Shop Strat New Old Stock. So the idea behind that is essentially you have a 65-ish spec guitar that is has been left in the case ever since 1965 and is in like new condition. So what I find is a lot of the guitars that aren't reliced are being referred to as NOS models, new old stock models, because a lot of relic stuff's coming out of the custom shop. The color is like this electric blue that I am in love with. It has a matching headstock. Very rare to see, and it just looks great. Totally awesome. It's got a rosewood fretboard with pearl dot inlays. And the coolest part about it is, as you can see, it comes with three pickups, tortoise shell, uh, pick, pick guard covers, rather, tortoise shell white but it's got this beautiful custom wd usa uh kind of bronzish mirror picked up hey guys what's up so it just really looks the part on this guitar it looks incredible you get all three pick guards and you've got these lipstick pickups that came from the factory again totally nuts vintage fender stamped saddles and the bridge this guitar i mean there there's a few light like pick marks type stuff but this guitar is like brand new it's got the full case candy is still sealed in the bag hasn't been opened so all of that the cable the polishing cloths papers uh tremolo arm never been used still in the bag that's that's wild. Then <laughs> I've never seen someone do this before. Shows you how anal they were and how like just very detail oriented. The spring out of the trim arm cavity. People that haven't bought a brand new one uh, don't know this, but hiding in here is a little cap and a little uh, spring that pops out um, from new. I don't know exactly why they do that. There, there's a video very well-viewed video on uh, YouTube that talks about it. But yeah, uh, the strap that comes with it still has the tag on it, never used. So really cool, guys. And I mean, you can just see just by looking at the, the fretboard and the frets, there's no, no wear, let's get in focus there. You know, there's no wear. I mean, this thing's just like never been played. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's take it out of its case very gently. I'll show you that custom shop COA again. 2004. It's crazy to think that this is 15 years old, this guitar. It doesn't look like it. It looks brand new. You know, maybe a year old. Cool. I'm just going to lay this stuff down. So I can close this case. You know, original custom shop, g, &G case. Cool, keys are in it still. All right, let me just move this case over. We'll put this guitar down like so. So we can see what the uh, 
back is. And how nice is that? I've got my custom shop bar stool with my custom shop fender on it. Very appropriate. Yeah, so on the back, vintage style tuners, fender custom shop logo. There you go. And then no skunk stripe because in 65, they did not do this. If you want to know how I know, I have a original 65. Just got it from Matt Tuck of Bullet for My Valentine. So really cool to see the, the modern take on the original model, because we've got the original model. You can see that video. We've got two videos of it um, here on the channel. Just scroll through. You'll see him. Matt actually came to the studio, sitting right there on that stool, and was rocking out. He used a 65 Strat on his last two albums. Really nice neck. Great piece of wood. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, just a really nice guitar. I mean, there's a little ding there, but this that's a type of small marks we're talking about here on the back. I don't know if that's a little, a little bit of gunk or a little minor rub thing. But overall, guys, super nice. Custom shop. Neck plate there with the serial number. Matches the certificate. Neck pocket. No uh, crack in the corner there. Here. No crack either. Looks like a little bit of... A little bit of a chip right there or something. But real minor, guys. I'll show you these old school tuning pegs, just like the 65. And there's that logo. CBS era. Just run down this fretboard one more time. Has those thinner frets, not like the big modern jumbo frets and the thing sounds beautiful too i mean really really nice guys if you want something special and something different this is uh highly recommended you're not gonna risk someone coming over and saying i got one of those like no you don't not with the lipstick pickups not with the uh custom pick guard the matching electric blue paint job um it's just beautiful. Cool. You get what you pay for, guys. This is this is the business, as they say. If you want to buy this, it is for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. It's also here if you want to play with it and record it. I mean, we've got a recording studio. That's what this is all about. That's what all that's for. And all that. And all that. Um, you know, we, we try to make ourselves the Disneyland for guitarists, Aladdin's Cave, where uh, if you come here, you've got over 200 guitars to choose from to play around with and get some killer tone. So that's the name of the game, guys. If you want to talk more about this guitar or recording or just life in general, hit me up on Facebook. It's at Essex Recording Studios or on Instagram at Essex Recording Studios or on Twitter at Essex Recording. Cool. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I got a lot more videos to do for you all and i hope you got a kick out of this one stick around on the channel more videos coming your way right after this later guys